All right, hope you can hear me over the uh, the fan I got running because it's July the 2nd in North Carolina. Just had a bunch of rain last night and the mosquitoes are out. But anyhow, my trailer needed new wood in the bed of it and the manufacturer that built this thing had metal on the rear end and metal covering the front end. So I watched videos. The, uh, one guy was able to bend his boards and put it in there, but I think he had probably like a 12 or, 13, 12 or 14 foot trailer and he must have been using two by sixes. These are two by eights and it's only 10 foot long. I can't bend this, this wood to make it go in there right. So I got the old wood out and actually had nails driven down in some of the angle iron. I, I don't know, that must have been a heavy duty nailer. And uh, those nails, they were hardened steel. I had to rip the boards out and then grind the nails off. But anyhow, what I decided to do, because I called a manufacturer, the manufacturer said, hey, you gotta cut this and this on each end and take this whole, take this whole thing out, put your boards in and get somebody to weld it back in. Well, I wasn't too thrilled about doing that. Another thing is, if you don't get it back just right, this, this latch pin is not gonna line up right, you know, and that's, I mean, I mean, I would do my best to try and get all that back right. I mean, of course, that just adds difficulty and complexity. And really, I'm worried about the structural integrity of it because when you're driving a small, uh, you know, a tractor or something long more up here, a lot of weight uh, is on this area. Another thing I noticed, and I'm glad I didn't, uh, I don't know if you can see it. Ever so often, there's a piece of plate, and there's a plate, and it's this piece is welded to the bottom angle. I wouldn't have noticed that until I had already cut the others, and then I've been sorry. So, I'm, gl I'm glad I didn't cut the back end of this thing op open. Uh, but what I did, is up front I thought it was angled but actually the top part is just a piece of uh, flat steel and it's welded you know about every foot and a half or so so what I did is I took my uh, little angle grinder with a disc and cut this out uh, so what I could do so I could take my boards, and which I didn't have to do it for most of them, but when you get down to the, to the last few, you can't put these things in at an angle. So what I did is I, I put it in, and I'm trying to hold the camera and do everything all at once, but we'll get there. I put that in first, and then drop this in like that. And then, you know, slide them whichever way. I won't. And then when I get through, what I did is I measured off first because, let's see, we'll slide this one over. I measured off one side to see where I'd end up at, you know. And I, I didn't want to cut near a weld, so I cut the width of one board in between there. I don't believe, I don't believe that piece of flat steel is really, you know, supporting structural wise because this is uh this looks like inch and a half by two inches or so angle this is holding the load um i may come back and put a piece of flat all the way across the top and, and run a, a few bolts through it i may just put a, a couple of small bolts to hold that one board down i don't know um but i'm glad i did it this way it's working out i don't haul anything really all that heavy on the trailer but i was not looking forward to cutting that gate and all that you know that piece of angle back there that's holding that gate you know taking a chance of misaligning my pins uh you know my uh latch pins uh and then having to weld all that back and then on top of it finding out you know about those plates under there that they're welded you can see that one right there you can see the light that won't go through that's a piece of plate and it's and it's holding the top and the bottom together and I guess that just makes it a whole lot more rigid especially like I say you know you're driving a uh, you know, small tractor a small lawnmower you know whatever up and down here and that thing's got to be able to, to hold some weight uh, 
you know, until it gets up and spread out on the trailer. But anyhow, that's my way of doing it. Right or wrong, uh, I don't know, but I think it's going to work out all right. And I just thought I would share in case uh, anybody's in the same predicament. My boards are, had a couple of them that were so rotten you could just about step through them, and that's that's my fault for not taking better care of it. But I'm going to try and do a little better job from here on out. Um, if you like it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Uh, if you got any questions, I'll ask them, answer them the best I can. Uh, like I said, there, you guys may have better ways of doing this. Um, and anybody reading the comments may want to, may be interested in what you got to say. But like I say, this is this is what I decided was the best for me, and uh, I thought I would share it. Anyhow, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, thanks again for, for watching.